Hi, I learned to become an automobile mechanic engineer in a day after spending a whole day at a mechanic workshop at T-Breed near London. Well, I learned how to fix car, how to do it. full service of the car engine and also do other basic things. I went to the T-Breed workshop where three of my brothers, Adeolu, MK and Eko are working and I decided that they need to teach me how to become a motor mechanic. Why they are doing this? I follow them. In this video, I show you how also they fix the car key that I've already gone around looking for the solution where a remote car key is not working. Having watched several YouTube videos in order to fix this, they are able to do it simply for me and also other things about the car. Join me this video as we get along. So, I've come down to the center. Yeah, I've got to, I, my key's got a problem. I'm going to take it down here to, uh, what's it called? The German car repair center. Well, maybe it's possible they can fix my fault for me. So they give me a ready for some time. I got my father. Very good afternoon. Oh, yeah. Let me take a quick look at some of the nice. What I need to do, just go to the customer service and see. <laughs> C level, C level, C level, C level, C level, C level. Wow. 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 I don't care, you know. <laughs> when I come to a showroom like this, this is time I think about wow. What do I need now? Okay. Do I need a new car? Oh boy, I need a new car. I wish I can get a new car. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Good evening. Hey, a very good afternoon, sir. What I brought is my key. See, my set of keys for my fence. Yeah. I think the fob's got a problem. This is the extra. Battery, yeah? It's not actually the battery. The fob is already gone. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I do. Well, I'm going to take a look around while the guy is actually busy with some customers right there. So, take a look around at some of the vehicles here in the showroom. Uh, the German Car Repair Center. Having been told that it's going to cost me about 200 pounds in order to have the problem of the remote key solved and also I need to bring car documentation and also a new programming have to be done on the key right from Germany. Now, I decided not to go through the hassle and go and buy just one pan replacement batteries and then go back to the my motor mechanic workshop in order to tackle the problem of the remote pop of the car key. So those batteries they rely on the ocean. I need I need the twenty twenty five. So we the problem. The You know why? Because it's in gallery. Let me see the old man. Let me see the old man. Tell me the old man. Tell me the old man. Yeah, but the new man is the old man. Having understood the problem, MK the mechanic actually was playing around around the key with me in order to distract my attention. But I knew he understood the problem and he had actually solved it. Is that way? Even this way, eh, would I come along with my panel? No, no. So I don't come along with my panel. 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 Go wallet to mana. Eh, me keep me take it, buddy. Come on, see right here. Buddy, see see right here. Ah, you know the video. Yeah. Now let's put it to test again. Oh, this is Jenna from distance. You don't have to get close, but it, it, it looks like you still have to kind of. It's working from this distance. Yep. Wow. This is pure, isn't it? That's Range Rover here. This one, very one. Wow, it's got the hard BMW. What's this one called? An X Drive. X Drive X6. Woo! F Type. I love this F Type, man. Look at that. F Type Jaguar. Wow, how much is that cost? That's in grand. Woo! That's some money, man. That is some money. Oh, Lord, man. Let me go and see what all the details are. I'm right here at Tilbury. My mechanic, I got MK, MK is here. You know, automobile mechanic engineer based in the UK. I know. What are you going to do? I'm going to take this car. 
You want to look this guy? I want to put on top of that front. Is that what you're trying to do? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, really? Okay. Do you need my help? Do you need my hand? Do you need my assistance or something? Do I meet him? Do you talk man? As you go and meet him? You talk man? Really? Okay, let me go and uh, talk to the truck man. So, I think this is going to be this car. This one. And, uh, and the truck man <laughs> said he's going to lift this, he's going to put on this uh, lift van, this van, which is. Uh, okay, so he, well, let's see how he's going to do it anyway. Easy man. Wow. You see, I want to see how it's going to lift the car. I still going to do it ASAP. It's just so easy. That's what he does for a living, I guess. But she about to drive, Sha. Oh, move. I'm at MRT. Okay, I'm wheel there. Okay, it's going to be weird. Even the car is not moving. So this car is not mobile, but yet it's still going to go. It's going to climb up between all the uh, ropes and everything. Sharp, sharp. So it's I just hook it down in the top of the car. And uh, you see how it's going to start. The, I think that engine is going to start moving. Ready to be moved. I think uh, it's a nice thing. Uh, well, I should go for sharing this with me. Thank you for very much for sharing this experience with me. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's key, by secure, secure by one to tire is very secure. But I'm mine. <laughs> In the meantime, my car is actually undergoing, you know, uh, just a, a quick service, service of oil and filter and stuff like that. So, I'm going to be busy doing that for me. So, how's it going? Moving down. What's that? Oh, it's oh, a oil filter. Oh, filter is going down. So, it's gone down already. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on. See, it's gone down already. So, it's going to go underneath. The man is actually doing his job. And actually, we want to see how this has been done. Let me show you guys. So it's already opening. Yeah, it's already from the uh, where the oil storage is below the engine. And then it's putting a kind of uh, a bowl on that so that it needs to be loosened. Once loosened, then flowing down so this is how to replace the oil of the car engine this is a very quick way of doing this while the car service is going on i kept myself busy trying to remove the fly tire and to even pump it up after i think putting the tire back so I think I'm learning one of the things slowly. Mm -hmm. I got this just uh, how much does it cost? Six, about six quid, six pounds. Yeah, yeah. I got it from the local store. It's actually, to replace uh, any uh, flat tire. So this is good on the go. Sometimes you, you have a little ready to pump up the tire. It's called. This one's called one twenty. Mm -hmm.
my what's it call it? Um, the oil from the engine is already gone down. Oh, that's coming to an end. I think. Okay, it's still draining. It's still draining. Oil is still coming out from that end. A little bit dropping. You want to see how to change the filter? Have you changed the filter? Yeah. Oh, I wish we would have that recorded. The filter is now here. Is it somewhere here? Yeah. Where is the filter? Oh my god. We don't want to do we want us to we want guys to see how that is in foot. So this is the whole filter. The used one. That one is already wrecked. How about the oil? We can't sample the oil now, can we? Anyway, it seems to be very busy. Me too. Let me get on my own. Let's continue to do this. So I'm actually doing this now and this is where it is at the moment. Wow. Wow. It's a long way to go man. Currently the hole is now. This is the hole. See how dark this one is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going on now? They're trying to put it back. Trying to pull the uh, cover of the engine back, then close the. You know, there's a hole where the oil comes out. So that was. Sometimes when I hear the sound, maybe this is a, this plastic is what making the sound. It's very long plastic. I can't even start the car. Anyway, I think the problem is has to do with this key. The fob has got a problem here. Maybe the reader from the sensor of the key is not. It's, it's, it's got nothing to do with the car sensor because we use. We thought maybe it's the sensor here that has got the problem, but it's not. So that's how it, uh, these things can be sorted. Oh, well, see the distance. Yeah, let's go. That's thank you very much for watching. I hope this can resolve you. If you have a little problem, just to find out what's the problem if your remote sensor or your fob of your key is not actually uh, working. So, this is how you can try and test to find out the fault. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.